Okay. I've been riding this trail pretty much from our campsite. So it's road halfway to the airport and then it turns into a trail which went up uh, which wasn't too bad and then it got to a point where it was the a fence was blocking off the nice path and then you had to go up this sand dune so I had to walk and when that uh, when I passed that the trail became decent it was much smaller just a path really and then along the way I would hit sand again so now I'm almost where I want to be which is Superior Point uh, I mean Wisconsin Point and Michigan Point Canal almost there but then I just ran into some more sand and that's what I'm dealing with so as you can tell I'm a bit out of breath and uh, it's a workout but I can't ride through it so I have to walk through it and that's just as hard and um, so on the way back I'm not going to climb that this is the way I came on that trail there which is still sandy but then I got to here and I quit so I thought I would stop here where I'm at right now and take a little break because it's a little shady here so I had some water having a relaxing thing and uh, as soon as I calm down a little bit I'll continue but I'm kind of racing a ship coming in. I want to get there before that ship. And uh, let's see, let's take a walk here. And I'll show you how far I got to go yet. For all I know, the ship probably beat me. Oh, there's the ship there. Okay, now a little farther, just a little bit. Okay. All right. I don't get any takes. Okay. I don't know where is it. Where is that? Oh. There's the ship there. I think you can see it. And I gotta go over there yet. Let me zoom in. So that's Wisconsin Point, and that's Superior Point there. Actually, I think maybe, I don't think that is the ship I'm racing. I think it might be that one there. Might be the one heading in. I didn't see that one before, I don't think. Maybe I did, I don't know. So where I traveled from, let's see if I can even show you where I traveled from. I don't think I can. Let's see. I can't even see it from here. But somewhere way over there. So 
That's what I'm dealing with. Let's go. Okay, so back at the bicycle, and I'm about ready to head back, so, uh, I mean, head forward, <laughs> and we'll catch you when I'm there. See you. Fucker. Stay on here, you Oh, huh. didn't know it was recording. Okay, start now. Okay, so I just made walk through the sand dune a little bit, and I uh, had to stop. It got a little bit. Uh, I could ride it a little, ride a little bit, and I had to stop and walk. And then I came across this. Look at that. An old chimney. Let's take a look. Shall we? Abandoned stuff. So I wonder what this was. Or, I mean, what this was for. Uh, there's a fence around it. Oh no. Goodness. Don't say nothing else. I wonder oh, what this is for. I'll have to I'll have to do some research on this because this is a cool find. I never expected to see something like this. But I'll be honest with you, I passed it and said, oh, I'll film it on the way back. And then I rode for a little, for a little bit, and I'm like, you know what? Maybe I won't film it when I'm on my way back. Because I was taking, as I was taking my break a little bit ago. Anyway, uh, I said, if there's a service road I can take, I'm taking that back. And I'm not going to go through this again. Okay. So there's something else down here that I'm going to guess belong to this. So let's go check that out. Okay, it's a little bit ways, a little bit, not too bad, so I'm going to uh, right down there, so I'm going to shut the camera off, and I'll turn it back on when I get down there. It's not too far away, and look, there's a, I don't know if you can see that or not through the trees, but it's a big taconite. Uh, it's where they load the ships up at. Anyway, we'll try to get a good look at that. I think we will later. Okay, so shut the camera off. 
I go down just a little bit, turn it back on, and I'll show you that. We'll explore that. Okay, here we are. Look at this. You sent it? You sent it? When I was riding, I went right by it and I didn't even see it until I made the decision, you know what, I'm going to go turn around and film that smokestack. And then I saw all kinds of graffiti on the other side of this building. I'm like, what's that? So I'm thinking this must have been, I can't see my LCD because you know how LCDs are in the, in the daylight. You can't see nothing, you know, kind of like look, trying to look at your phone. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to check in there. Just a minute. See, it says, it even says welcome. So, I wonder what this was. Oh, here's the, uh, huh. Here's the harbor dock, or the docks, for the big ships to come in to load up iron ore, and yeah, I don't know what this was. It's pretty small, but how cool. What a find. You know, I mean, I hate to say in the middle of nowhere because we are somewhere but it's in the middle of <laughs> wherever. We'll just say that, it's in the middle of wherever. So, I'm, I'm not sure what this was. I'll have to, maybe I can try researching it. But do you think this had to do with that smokestack or do you think there was a building over by the smokestack and you just it's so overgrown that you can't see it but you know it's got some pretty cool graffiti look at the musky oh wait look at the musky how cool is that let me get try to there's the artist let's give them credit for that whoever that may be so, but uh, yeah look at that That's pretty cool. At least, you know, you don't have the usual garbage you see on abandoned stuff. You know, stupid people drawing stupid stuff. You know, but yeah, the graffiti's not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, here we go. So, so, yeah. All right, let's take a look at this. Uh, you, know, you can pause it there if you want. This is, I believe, the BNSF. I think that's what it says on the map anyway. BNSF, you know the railroad, right? If you don't, you do. Now, and there's a ship right there. I believe that's the mantle. Uh, I don't know. I'll write, I'll, I'll put this, I'll, I'll say what it, I'll write what it is. It starts with an M, mantle watch or something like that. But I want to show you. I believe this, holy crap, I can't see my LED. Kind of sucks. Okay. Now, I think, I'm not sure. Um, I think this one here. This dock here, I believe, okay. On the, on, get my, see I'm not going to pull my tripod out, alright? So 
So yes, it's going to be shaky because I got it all bungeed up ready for something else. Okay, let me see if I can find this thing. I apologize. I'm not a professional pro pro uh, camera guy and all I see is my face in this LCD screen. Of course. Let me zoom out. Now, where's my finger? Okay, on that side over here, let me see. I get my other finger here. Right, right there, okay, there is a famous ship that everybody knows. That's where that ship loaded up. Iron ore and headed on November 11th on Superior and ran into a great big storm and sunk. And everybody knows who this, what this ship is because there is a song about it. And I am talking about the Edmunds Fitzgerald. Okay. And uh, on the other side of that, there was another ship that left a few hours later. I don't remember when the Edmunds Fitzgerald left. I think around 1... I think, I, I don't know. I'll put my corrections in the video. But I think around one, and the ship that was on the other side left around four. And that was, um, I don't remember the first part of the name, but it was. And now we will continue with our journey. Okay, I just wanted to show you that. Because I didn't think there would be a good, I'd have a good shot of it. But this is a perfect shot of it. So, the BNS of a harbor. And these things, they are massive. They are massive. When we were driving in, you could see them from the road and I mean, just, you saw how big the boats are, right? They're the ships. I mean, they just tower. Tower over the ships. And some of them, you can get two of them in. So, anyway, that's where we're leaving off now. And there is one more little thing that if I find it looks like an outhouse, I might film it, I might not. I probably will. We'll see. Okay. All right. Back to the abandoned building. Pretty cool. Yeah. I rode right by it, didn't even see it. So, saw it on the way back. The only reason I saw it on the way back was go on this side of it. But I saw all this graffiti on the side of it. I'm like, what the heck? And I came back. I saw this graffiti. I'm like, what the heck? I said that already. Yeah. So. so I 
I got my bike. My bike parked around here somewhere. <laughs> cool. Pretty cool. I'm on the trail right now. You can see. You can see. When you're watching the trail. Uh, easy to miss. So we'll continue our journey. I don't know why this thing keeps recording. Okay, there's the building, abandoned building. And here, remember the little I said the little outhouse looking thing? Yeah, guess what? That's exactly what it is. You know, and it's old too. So, yeah. So, again, I don't know. Those people there had to go up past him, had to walk all, had to walk over here. So, I'm guessing it's, this is pretty old, pretty old. But anyway, that's enough of this. We'll continue our journey. Okay, I have made it. I have made it. Took a long time, but I think I raced the ship for nothing because they're both just sitting out there. I don't know if you can see them, but I showed you them before. So this is what they call on the on the uh, Duluth webcam. Duluth, Duluth live cam. This is the one they call Wisconsin Point. Because I'm surprised they don't call it Minnesota Point, but I guess because they call it Wisconsin Point, because over here. Minnesota. I'm in Minnesota right now. Over here. That's Wisconsin. And that lighthouse there. I zoom in on it for you. Beg my card. Is Wisconsin. Yes. And I this part here <laughs> that I'm on right here, this part. I didn't even know this existed because you don't see this on the webcam. You see what's out there. Those two. The lighthouse and that other thing. And I thought oh, I said I thought you could walk right on out there. I thought the trail went right out there. But apparently it does not. And I am not going to rock walk on this ballast. Too hard. But, uh, anyway, I think 
I can zoom in on that ship that's sitting over there getting loaded or getting ready to leave. And now I got my tripod up, so hopefully. Where is that damn thing? Here it is. Yeah. Straighten this out a little bit. Hopefully, I can get the name of it. Uh, there it is, right there. Can you read it? Okay. So the crane is out. So it's still getting loaded. I don't know, it seems like they take their time over here. But there is, unfortunately, no service road out here. So I have to make that journey back. And it took a long time. So it's, this is like a, one time deal. Cause it's hard. But there's some, there's a couple things I'm gonna show you on the way back. I thought I would wait until I come on the way back because I didn't want to take my tripod down and put it back up so I figured I'd just do it on the way back because I thought I was racing a ship to come in here but I wasn't. Am I going to bug you if I go by? That's alright, I can edit out. Sorry. So that's Wisconsin there. And it looks like, I don't know what it looks like, and it must be because I see graffiti. Let me zoom in. Looks like those are abandoned houses. Why would you want to abandon a house right there? And there's two of them. And it looks like I don't know, because I'm not over there and I can't see, but it looks like that right there might be a boathouse or a garage, maybe even both. It's got a chimney, so seated, unless maybe that's another house. I don't know. I mean, try to zoom in, can't really see. Because from here, it looks like I see two garage bay doors. Sweat in my eyes, sorry. And, okay, there it is. So I don't know. Let me raise this up.
So do this look like you know LCD screen. I can't really see. I can see like a shadow. So it looks like to me there's two garage bay doors there. So it could be a a garage or a boathouse or both. Garage and boathouse. I don't know. Anyway, let me turn you back to the Wisconsin Lighthouse here. So, That is where the ships come in, right there. And We'll just end it right there. I think, well, maybe. I won't end it there. I'll end it. On this shot, I think. I'm not sure if you can see the ship, but we'll end it there. And we'll catch you in a split second for you. For me, it's going to probably take me an hour to get back to what I want to show you next. Okay? Okay. I go now. Okay. Here's one of the stops that I said I was going to show you something. Now I got to zoom in. Hopefully I can find it because I can't see nothing. So, let me see if I can get this on handlebars because I don't want to take my uh, tripod off again because it's kind of hard to get back on. Okay. Zoom out. And I can't find it. I just have to edit this shit out until I find it. That there, 
I can't tell if it's blurry or not. Is the SS Meteor. It's a what they call a whaleback ship because the back of it, the top of it looks like a whaleback and it sits really low in the water. Uh, this it was built in 1890 so this thing is old. I don't know if we're gonna have time to go over there and see it in person. Um, of course that will be on the way back home because that's Wisconsin over there and I don't know if this is in focus or blurry or what but that is what I wanted to show you so if it's blurry I'll just cut this out okay to the next stop Okay, in case that other video didn't turn out, that's the SS Meteor. That was built in 1890 something, and it is called a whaleback because when it sits in the water, it looks like a whale's back. It sits really far in the deep in the water, but this is the only one left in the world. Is that one right there? I'm not sure if we're going to be able to go take the tour or the, see the museum, but we'll see because that's Wisconsin over there and that's on the other side. So that would be like kind of like on the way home kind of thing, but I don't know. We'll. We will see, but at least I've got it on video. And of course, when I get back to the uh, good part of the trail, I heard the, uh, I think the, uh, those one ship leave and one ship come in. Remember, I was said I was waiting and I waited long enough and I don't know, it must have been a good hour, maybe hour and a half, I don't know. But I was tired of waiting, so I missed them. I heard the horns, that's how I knew they came in, but Whatever, and I've got something else to show you since I'm at the spot to show you, but I don't know the sun and the glare of the water. I might not be able to get a good picture of it, so it might be something I have to come, I don't know, tomorrow or something and get a good picture of it, but we'll see. Okay, I can't see it. I can't even see it in my, just looking across, I, can, I can't see it, it's so hazy. But I'll pan it and I don't know, because I, I can't see the screen either. You know, the LCD screens, no good. But I'll pan it and maybe you can see it, but I can't see, I can, I'll have to come back tomorrow. But see it's right underneath that thing there I can just barely see it but if you look closely if you look closely maybe you can see it we'll get it tomorrow but that's the other thing I wanted to show you so and it's quite a bike ride down here but I don't care I want a good picture of it until then until tomorrow but of course there might be you know a ship going out later so 
I might get that. I don't know. You never know. Okay. See you. I go now.